Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel The Musical Medley. So in this video I'm going to talk about the top 5 Anki add-ons for medical school. If you don't know what Anki is, I've previously released a video before which talks about what Anki is, how to use it and how I use it for medical school. Now I'm approaching 2 years since I learned how to use Anki and honestly it has changed a lot of the way I learn which makes things a lot easier for me to remember and just better overall for me anyway. So that's why I wanted to do a video talking about the top 5 add-ons which I think are great. This video won't cover all the add-ons but I'll just cover the ones which I use the most and which I think are particularly quite helpful for me. So before I get started, there are two key add-ons which I think are so important and they are really helpful. So the first one is the image occlusion add-on. And the second one is the close card add-on. I won't be talking about them too much in this video because I've already talked about them a lot and I've gone into a bit of detail about them in my previous Anki video. So if you want to see what that's about, go watch my previous video. So yeah, I'm going to get right into it, talking about the top five Anki add-ons for medical school. So now I'm just going into my year four medicine deck. I've already done a few of these cards earlier today, but I just left some so I could use for the video. So let's get straight into it. So number one for me is the speed focus mode. So what is speed focus mode? I'll show you when we get in. So essentially speed focus mode it is right here. It is the timer and this enables you to time how long you want to do the cards for. You can also do it in the settings as well. Um, I like this because it sort of mimics doing exams as well. In exams you're quite time pressured so this gives you a bit of time pressure. I do mind that in 30 seconds if I haven't thought of an answer in 30 seconds it usually gives me a little alert which it does here and there's a sound as well and for me it's after one minute it shows the answer and then after or one minute 20 you can't say as wrong but people like to do theirs in different ways but that's something i found really helps me and it also keeps me focused as well and it also means on the days where i've got quite a lot of cards i can usually get through them in good time so now that i've shown you the speed focus mode i'm going to show you how to set it so you go to um, your settings you go to options and then you go to general and then when you go to general you can change the timings so for me i said ignore answer um answer times longer than 80 seconds so and that's one minute 20 seconds uh automatically play alert after 30 seconds automatically show answer after 60 seconds so that's one minute basically and that one is it for that it's very simple and very easy to use and just a quick reminder guys if you want to add add-ons because like i said i'm going to put the add-ons in the description box below go to tools press add-ons And when they come up, you just go to get add-ons and then you just enter the code there. You can copy and paste from the link and you just press OK and that's basically it. So, yeah. So the next add-on which I love and I think is very helpful is the review heat map here. So this does not come with Anki, but it sort of keeps me focused and is also like a little bit of an encourager. To be doing Anki every day so as you can see I've been doing it for the past 192 days and I've tried to you know keep quite consistent and quite focused it's a bit of a fun add-on but I find just find it really helpful so this is from last year they do it by years so each dot or each square represents the year and even gives you a little bit of information when you go over it so you can see I actually started using Anki for the first time on the 3rd of February and I did 52 cards which I went through so yeah and since then i've tried to be as consistent as i could i uh, missed out a few days but yeah uh i've just tried to keep going and pushing and now i'm 192 days and this also helps you see that as well and it helps you create a little log of how well you're doing i'm just going to show you how to go to the settings for this add-on so you go to options um you can change the color scheme so if you want a lime it will be in lime if you want to change it to blue, um, it will be in eyes and stuff like that. So you can just play around with it and find out what works best for you. So now I'm going to talk about the third Anki add-on, which I think is great. So this is the pop-up dictionary. I'm going to go into my cards. I'm going to go fully into the deck. I'm going to go fully into the deck. 
I'm going to look at this question. So this question is um, about bipolar disorder. And okay, interesting. And I've heard about bipolar disorder before. I'm um, always about, look at it. Okay. And now you're thinking, where else have you used the word hypomania or mania? So you can press it. And then this is what the pop-up dictionary does. The pop-up dictionary scans through the deck and it looks for where you've used the same word. So for me, I think it's one of the best Anki add-ons because it helps you create tools and links between different things and it does it automatically. So if there's any add-on that I think you should get, it is definitely this one. So for me, hypomania, I've used hypomania before in another Anki card where I was talking about classifications of mania. And again, I've also used it in another one when I talk about the types of bipolar disorder. And the best part about this Anki card is that you can also do the pop-up dictionary in a pop-up dictionary. So let me show you an example. So depressive, when did I use depressive? So go here and you can see all the other cards where I'd use depressive. So ICD classification, various of depression, and it all shows up. So this enables me to make links between different aspects of the course. And it is really, really helpful sometimes, especially when you are studying something or you see a drug that you've seen before, but you can't remember when you saw that drug. So if you just use pop-up dictionary, you can see in all the other instances where that drug has been used or where you've made an Anki card about the drug. So for me, there had been cards where uh, I made a card talking about the drug's mode of action but I couldn't remember the side effects of the drugs because I made it in two different Anki cards. So all I had to do was just use pop-up dictionary and it came up straight away and that was it. It was nice and easy. So next for the fourth Anki add-on, which I think is amazing, it is the web browser. So this one's really helpful because it helps while you're doing your cards that you can literally search up um, anything you want, basically based on what you think. So for example, if I'm doing the causes of mania and Cause of Mania, interesting, but I want to know a bit more. You download the add-on and then you can right click, search on web, press Google web. You can um, search Google images. Fovo is very good because that's basically like a pronunciation thing, which for me is amazing for like learning drug names and learning how to pronounce drug names because some of these drug names are a bit hard to pronounce still. But yeah, go on Google web, bring it up. Uh, let me search up Causes of Mania. And it's amazing because it's like they have their own little um, deck in there. So I'm just going to bring it up now. Causes of Mania. And it is just a little web browser. And you can literally do anything you can do in a normal web browser. But it's right in Anki. So it means you don't have to, you don't have to stress yourself going to Chrome and stuff like that. Everything is in Anki. So you don't really have to leave. You want pictures. It's all there. And you can also transfer it over. And when you're making cards, so one thing Anki does great is that if you find a picture and you go to it and then you right click it, there can be actions. So if I was making a card and I did this, there would be actions which said I could either put it in the extra tab or in the extra part of the card and stuff like that. So it's very, very cool. And lastly, for the fifth Anki add-on, which I think is vital, it is the add table Anki add-on. So again, I'm going to put this in the description box, but just to show you a little tutorial of how to use it. So you bring up the add, obviously the add section up, and it should give you a little table here after you've done that. And if you click on the table, you should be able to see insert table. And you can enter your table properties you can um, enter your number of columns into your number of rows as needed and this really helps for me anyway because sometimes i like to make tables when there's a lot of information um and i'll show you examples of tables which i've also made in the past as well so for example if i wanted to make a table comparing ulcerative colitis and crohn's i can do one now ulcerative colitis and crohn's and Crohn's disease and then if I just wanted to talk about like different facts about it histology and stuff and then I write the make sure I spell it right I write the histology for ulcerative colitis and the histology for Crohn's as well and that's basically it and then you just add the table you can also add pictures as normal and honestly I think it works amazingly if you want to take it off you can just take it off and that's basically it guys so just to show you a quick example of a card I'd made previously so this is a table I made um, comparing Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, so for irritable bowel disease. 
Um, so this might look quite complicated at first, but it's really not. So I've got all the um, the facts about Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. I have the location, the pattern progression, the inflammation thickness, symptoms, complications, histology, endoscopy, uh, risk of colorectal cancer and management. So the way I did it is that because of closed cards, each section is an individual uh, card for me. So this might look like quite a thick card, but it's really not because I split it up into quite um, different chunks. So in total, this is 10 different cards because this goes up to C10. And if you want to preview it, I'm going to show you a quick preview of what it looks like. So in the preview, so yeah, this is what I meant. This will be the card I need to answer. So flare, I'll just need to say what would be needed for the flare of ostrich colitis, so which would be fluids. Um, and for my mild manage, uh, for management of mild ostrich colitis, 5-ASA, also known as mesalazine, which is also here as well. And then you just keep going right, around like that and also prednisolone as well. And it's just um, very helpful if you can see the answers as well yeah it shows you the answers you can learn each bit individually but you also get to see the big picture as well and that's basically it thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope this helped you if you have any questions that weren't answered in my last video or in the videos in the description box about anki then uh just email me uh, get at me on socials and i'm always down to help I'm still learning about Anki as well and just trying to improve and get to the best point of learning as possible. That's basically it guys. I hope you're doing well and have a great day.